How far did I take long? What type of question is that? You took almost an hour and you are asking if you took long. Calm down now. You never reached to fight. Is that the story you are supposed to tell me after wasting too much of my time here? Sorry bro. A little stuff happened on my way coming back. So I had to sort it out. I don't care whatever happened. You know I'm not really a patient type. The only person I can be patient with is my wife. So don't joke with me next time. Oga, mind how you shout on me. I am not your client or your houseboy. Don't be your fault, Sha. Don't worry. You will see me here next time. And you have forgotten that I am the only friend you have. That is why you are misbehaving. Don't worry. I will soon shock you. I met a very interesting girl today on my way coming back. I knew it. I know it will definitely be a woman that delayed you. <laughs> you know I am not really into women's stuff. But trust me when I say this one is beautiful. Is she more beautiful than my wife? Can you not compare your wife to other women out there? As far as I'm concerned, my wife is the most beautiful woman on earth. So you agree she's more beautiful than your mother? I believe my mother was also the most beautiful for my father. Well, this particular is beautiful. It was a pity that her ex fiance embarrassed her on the road. What did he do to her? He slapped her in public. I know you did not mind your business. You went to show your busy body. Why should I mind my business? You know I am solely against stuff like that. And now you are thinking about a girl you just met. It doesn't take forever to like someone. I will be going on a date with her tomorrow. What? Thank you very much for honoring my call and coming here to see me. Come on. You don't have to thank me. This is my only way to appreciate you for standing up for me that day. I don't know what would have happened if you weren't there. I did what was necessary. Thank you. I am grateful. You look so beautiful. More beautiful than that day I saw you. Thank you. You don't look bad either. So tell me about yourself. Are you from here? No, I'm not from here. But I schooled here. Are you done with the university? Yes. I'm a graduate of communication arts. Congratulations, dear. I can't believe that a graduate like you was molested yesterday. Oh, stop it. It can be anyone. Exactly. It can happen to anyone. So what about your family? My family are back at my hometown. I stay with my friend. Accommodation problem or what? No, not at all. I can afford my own place. But I'm scared of boredom. So I chose to stay with her. So you mean you and that guy from yesterday are no longer together? Never again. We are done with each other. What is your own view on giving another person a chance to love you? I am not open for any relationship now. I just want to be on my own. Why? Because of one ungrateful person that didn't know your words? Yes, and that has taught me a lesson. Well, I can't pressure you to do anything. I respect your decision. Thank you. How about you? Are you married? No, I am not. I was hoping to start something with you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I just met with you yesterday and today you want to start something with me. Is that a problem? Well, sorry to disappoint you. I don't need a man for now. I don't just need any more heartbreaks. But I hope I can be friends with you. Why not? You have a very nice personality. Thank you. And I hope I can see you some other time. If you are my friend, then you can see me whenever you like. Thank you, dear. Sweetheart, you are here. I've been looking for you. I have been here since. How far is there a problem? Yes, I have not seen the 20,000 naira I kept in my room. 20,000 naira? Yes, na. You are asking if you don't know where I keep money. I don't know where the money is. Did you check very well? Yes, I did. I also checked the second drawer. Ah, ah. So where could it be now? Because I am very sure I did not take it. Think very well. Maybe you took it, but you have forgotten. 
I am very sure I did not take it. If I need money, I go to the bank. So how can 20,000 Naira develop two legs and run away from the drawer? You know we are not the only ones in this house. Maybe we should ask Felicia. Felicia! Felicia! Where is this girl? Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Felicia. What were you doing inside? I was washing the dishes. Is there a problem, sir? Why do you like keeping quiet when someone calls you? There was no need to reply because I knew I would still come out and see the person that called me. Did you clean my room this morning? Yes, sir. Where is my 20,000 naira that was in the drawer? 20,000 naira. Ask again. Let me reset your brain for you with a resounding slap. Excuse me, sir. I didn't see any 20,000 naira in your drawer. So how much did you see? I didn't even check the drawer. I just cleaned the room and went my way. So where could the money have disappeared soon? Honey, think very well. Maybe you misplaced it. I know where I kept my money. I saw it before I slept last night. I think there is an evil spirit in this house. My money also missed in this house yesterday. Your money missed yesterday and nobody heard about it. Because it was just a little money. So sir, just forget about the money. That is just a chicken to you. Very soon. I will know where that 20,000 naira went to. Ah, uh, Risa, you're still sitting here. Madam Waka Waka, Shebi, your two legs cannot stay in one place. I beg, free me, Joe. You have left me all alone in this house since morning, Uncle. Did I go out for flexing? Was it not work I went to? Now you, Sabi. Well, I didn't go far. I went to see my newfound friend. Newfound friend, K. Since when? Since when you noticed I was not at home. So a new friend has successfully taken you away from me, Abby? Ah, no, now. We are best friends for life. He's a nice person. That's why I want to be his friend. Oh, the person we are even talking about, he is a he. You mean I did not tell you what happened between Emerson and I two days ago? Don't tell me you went to see Emerson after everything we discussed. God forbid. Even if long life and prosperity is in his house, I would never go there for it. So how did you both meet? I met him on my way to purchase some items. I don't know what he was doing in this neighborhood. Hmm, that guy is just a pain in the house. He had the guts to lay his hands on me. He did what? I'm telling you, that was how the stranger that turned my friend came to my rescue. That Emerson guy is beating more than he can chew. What right does he have to do that? That is the same question I keep asking myself. Love can make you tolerate things you're not supposed to. I guess it is time I teach that guy a lesson. He doesn't know who I am. Don't worry, just let it go. When he tries it again. Chai, I wish I was there. I would put him behind bars and make sure he rots there. Calm down, dear. We will deal with him whenever he tries it again. The next time you see your new friend, tell him thank you for me. He did well. I will definitely do that. In fact, you will like him when you see him. I see someone is already crushing. Come off it, Joe. My heart is already locked. I can't give any more rooms for heartbreak. I can only be friends with him. It's okay. Just be careful and know that I care about you a lot. Thank you, sis. Linda, my dear. Yes, mom. I hope I did not interrupt your sleep. No, you didn't. I was not even sleeping. Sleep is far from me now. Why? Are you worried about something? Yes, ma. I am worried about something. I couldn't even eat in the afternoon. What is it? I overheard your son telling you that your daughter wants you to leave Nigeria. That is the reason why I called you out here. That is what I am scared of hearing you say. It's not like I am traveling now. That is like in a week time. I feel so sad. I have gotten used to you already. Same here, my dear. But I've been in Nigeria for so long. I need a vacation. I understand. So you should go next week. When do you think you will be back? I don't really know how long I'll wait. But I won't be back anytime soon. Chai, this is a bit messed up for me. Don't worry, I'll pay you extra three months salary, plus your present salary. Wow, thank you very much, ma. I will never forget your good deeds. Thank you too, my dear. I am always good to those that are good to me. And I am a living testimony about that. Have you had something to eat? No, I couldn't eat when I heard the news. It's okay, my dear. I am not giving a death penalty. It is only vacation I am going. <laughs> it is more like that to me because I won't see you again. <laughs> Who knows? I might convince my daughter to let you join me once I'm there. Wow, that would be nice. Go and set the table, let's eat.
I will talk to her when I get there. Okay, mom. My princess, thank you for coming. Are you kidding me? I missed you the most. I would have been out of town today, but I decided to skip it for you. I have told you times without number, not to skip any. Happy birthday, my love. Aww, you remembered my birthday. I would never forget your birthday for the whole world. You mean so much to me. I actually forgot my birthday because I don't have plans of celebrating. Ever since I met you, you have been a good luck charm to me. My life has changed for the better. Ah, uh, I couldn't have asked for more. You are exactly the type of man I needed and God gave you to me on a platter of gold. No, God gave you to me on a platter of gold. I am lucky to have you. Thank you, dear. So I have come to the conclusion that I am tired of being in a relationship with you. What did you just say? Yes, you heard me. I want more. I want you in this house and around me all the time. So therefore, I want you to be my wife. <laughs> you scared me at first. I thought you wanted to end the relationship. God forbid. Let such a thing never come into your mind. I will never leave you. I know, baby. Wait, are you proposing to be? Yes, Risa. I can't hold back anymore. All I want now is you. You're making me emotional. Please say yes to me. Make me a complete man, please. I promise to treat you right and never give you a reason to cry. <laughs> yes, Emmanuel. I will marry you.